Hi guys and welcome to Green Eyed Yogi. I'm Brandi Melina Walker and this is my first yoga video and I'm very nervous about it, but it's part of my goals for 2020, so here we are. If you've never seen my face before, hello. I've been making videos on YouTube since 2008 or so and I have a main channel called Green Eyed Starlet. I will leave linked up at the top here and basically I have decided that in 2020 because so many of my friends and family have asked I will be making one yoga video a month um, a flow of some sort that you guys can do with me at home and this is the first one so for our first flow this is gonna be about a 15 minute flow that you can do at any time anywhere so let's get moving. So to start, we're gonna start in a comfortable seated position. You can always feel free to put a pillow or a blanket underneath the butt if you feel like that would make you a little bit more comfortable. And we're gonna bring the hands to the knees either face down or face up, whatever resonates with you today. And whenever you find that comfortable seat, we're just gonna close the eyes for just a second here. Taking a mental scan of the body, starting from the top of the head, sending it all the way down into the tips of the toes. Observing the body, I'm not trying to change anything, but just trying to notice any part of the body that feels tight or feels sore. But also starting to notice any part of the body that feels extra good. Too often we spend our days only noticing the body when it is hurt or not properly functioning. Take the second to seek out those parts of the body, sending a little gratitude their way. And once you complete your mental scan of the body, we'll start to deepen our inhale, sending that air all the way down into the diaphragm, that little bit of space between the belly button and the pelvis. Matching our inhales with our exhales, both in length and in depth. And if you'd like to set a little intention for your practice today, you may do so at this time. An intention can be a word or a phrase, something you'd like to gain from your practice today, or something you'd like to take off the mat with you when you leave. If you've decided to set an intention for today's practice, I encourage you to repeat it to yourself three times to seal in its beautiful vibrational energy. From here, we'll take two deep cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. One more time. And we'll gently flutter the eyes open here. From here, we're gonna take the head over to our right shoulder. Right hand can come up on top if we'd like. We're not pressing down here, we're just adding a little weight here to carry us more into the stretch. Breathing in here. Taking our gaze down towards our right knee. and up towards the ceiling over our left shoulder. Bringing it back to that left shoulder, we'll remove our left hand, gently tracing the head down through center as we carry it over to the left shoulder here. Left hand can come up on top. Taking our gaze down towards our left knee this time. And 
and up towards the ceiling over our right shoulder. Bringing it back to our right shoulder. We'll remove our right hand, taking it down through center, bringing it back down, chin to chest here as we take a moment. From here, if you'd like, you can take the hands to the back of the neck, giving yourself a nice gentle massage, taking it up into the base of the skull or down into the trap muscles here, connecting the shoulders to the neck. And then nice and gentle, we'll take that gaze up towards the ceiling, opening up through our throat here, feeling that extra space we have for the air to travel down into our lungs. And coming back to center. Great job, guys. From here, we're gonna draw the hands up overhead, palms facing each other. Gaze is slightly up or all the way up towards the ceiling once again. On an exhale, we're gonna draw the hands down, this time bringing the left hand to the right knee. Right hand comes back behind us as we twist over to the right. Coming up through center, we'll draw those hands back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, we'll take that right hand to the left knee. Left hand comes behind us for length as we twist to the left. And coming back up to center, we'll draw those hands up one more time here. This time we're going to gently release that right hand back down towards the earth, coming down onto the fingertips, taking this left arm up and over as we stretch our left side body. Taking it up through center, we'll place that left hand down, right arm comes up and over, stretching over to the left, reaching through the right side body. And coming back up to center. From here, we're gonna interlock the fingertips behind the back, drawing the fist down towards the earth as we open up through the chest here. Feeling the shoulder blades come together. Releasing those hands will push away from the body, palms out. And coming back up to center. From here, we're gonna move into tabletop position. So we're gonna draw our hands down onto the mat in front of us. Pressing into the hands, we're gonna roll up onto the knees, coming back into that tabletop position. From here, we wanna make sure that our shoulders, elbows, wrists are stacked in the front, and that our knees are directly underneath our hip points in the back here. Once we have our foundation set up, we're gonna move through a cat and cow sequence. So on an inhale, our bellies are gonna lower down towards the earth as our gaze comes up the wall in front of us. Exhale, we'll round through the spine, sending our gaze back towards our knees, back towards our navel. Inhale, up to cow. Exhale, back to cat. And I encourage you to move here at your own pace, in your own time. Your full inhale carrying you all the way into cow and your full exhale carrying you all the way into cat. Giving each vertebrae their own chance, their own moment to move here. We'll move through two more of these.
And then we'll meet back in tabletop position after that second one. Coming back into that tabletop position, we're gonna leave our knees, our hips, and our toes exactly where they are as we walk the hands out in front of us, coming into a half puppy dog pose. We're keeping active arms the entire time here, so we're pressing down into the floor. The forearms are not sinking onto the earth. We're just reaching down as the heart melts down towards the earth. Our forehead can come and rest down on the mat if you'd like. Coming into this nice back bend here, heart melting down towards the earth, reaching up through the shoulder blades here. And gently we'll press into the foundation of our hands and walk the hands back towards the body two steps here. Once we have our hands a little bit closer to the body, we're gonna bring our big toes to touch, knees go as wide as our mat, and we're gonna anchor down into this right hand as we take the left arm up towards the ceiling and gently thread it underneath the right to come rest on our left cheek, left shoulder. If we'd like a little bit more, we can take this right hand back behind us, reaching for our left hip crease here. Take one more breath here. And we'll take that right hand back down onto the earth, pressing into its foundations. We'll pick ourselves up, taking that left arm back up towards the ceiling and down in line with that right. This time we're gonna switch off hands, so we're gonna press down into this left hand, picking our right arm up towards the ceiling and threading it down and under, resting on our right cheek, rest on right shoulder as well. Taking that left arm back behind if we like. One more breath here. And then we'll take that left hand back onto our mat, pressing into its foundations. We'll pick ourselves back up taking the right arm back up towards the ceiling and down in line with that left hand. From here, we're gonna sink the hips all the way back over the heels, taking it all the way back into child's pose. From here, allowing the hips to sink down into the earth, We'll slowly press into the foundation of our hands as we walk the hands back towards the body, coming to sit up on the feet here. We're actually going to roll the feet up underneath us, sitting back onto our butts, and taking our legs out long in front of us. Getting a nice, comfortable seat here once again. We're going to take our arms up towards the ceiling, reaching up through the crown of the head. Exhale, we're going to forward fold down towards the feet here. Hands can come to the toes, the ankles, the calves here, wherever you like, just letting the head hang over here. And gently coming back up to center. We're gonna draw this right foot into the thigh here, into the groin, left leg out long. Inhale up, exhale, we'll carry that down. From here, we're gonna take our right hand to the outside of our left foot, our left uh, calf, or our left uh, thigh here. And we're gonna take that left hand back behind us, twisting just a little bit here. Coming back to that left foot, we'll take it back down. And slowly we'll rise all the way back up. Sitting up tall here, we're gonna switch off those legs. So we're gonna take that right leg out long while bringing this left foot in. Inhale up, exhale, we'll carry it back down onto that right foot.
Breathing in here. We're gonna take our left hand this time to the outside of the right leg, right foot, taking the right arm back behind us. Gentle twist here. And coming back to that right foot. One more breath here. And slowly we'll rise back up. From here we're gonna draw this right foot all the way in to meet the left, bringing the soles of the feet together. The feet can be out as far or as close to the body as you'd like as we come into Baddha Konasana or Bound Angle Pose. From here, I like to draw my hands to my ankles here and gently taking my elbows and pushing them down into either thigh here, helping press down my knees just a little bit more. We don't wanna to push too hard, and if at any point this feels discomfort or if it feels like it's painful at all, gently come out of it and bring the knees back together. So as we're in here in our Baddha Konasana, we can either sit up tall here, really pushing into the knees, or we can gently forward fold, coming over the feet here. Arms can reach out in front of us. Breathing in here. And slowly we'll walk the hands back towards the body, coming to sit up once again here. We're gonna bring the knees in together here, hugging them in, we'll bow the head for just a second. And coming back up here, we're actually going to take that left foot out just a little bit as we bring that right ankle on top of the left knee. From here, we're going to bring that left knee back into the body as close as we can for a figure four. This is a nice gentle stretch into the sciatic nerve area. So that's the connective area between the butt and the lower back. Sitting up tall here. You can also do this on your back, threading your hands through this hole that you created and around the back of the left thigh. So sitting up tall here, feeling this nice gentle stretch. And then slowly we'll release this right hand, right foot back down towards the ground and picking up this left ankle, drawing it to the top of the right knee, bringing the right knee as close as it feels comfortable here, coming into our figure four stretch on the other side. And we'll gently release that left foot back down towards the earth taking the legs out long here. If this is all the time that you had, then feel free to give yourself a nice moment, a nice chance to take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth, releasing anything else that you wanna get off on your mat here. But if you have some extra time, I encourage you to lay back, take a nice little shavasana, however long you'd like, always honoring your body and your time here. Well, thank you guys for joining me for my first flow of the year here on Green Eyed Yogi. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made you feel good inside and it was something that you were really searching for. It feels weird to film yoga videos even though I teach yoga like twice or three times a week. It just feels a little bit odd to me, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and let me know down in the comment box uh, what kind of flows you would like to see, what kind of things you would like me to work on and show you guys because I'm really interested to see what you guys would like and um, I would be very interested in creating sequences and flows just for you guys. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Really do hope you enjoyed. This was kind of fun, kind of therapeutic. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes and I will see you guys next month on the mat.